Justin K is not in the mood for jokes here. Of course, the rumors running rampant about the Team USA captain. Oh my God, what a close line. And who that may be. There's the opening bell. A forearm shot that was from Allison K. Courtney Rush going face first off the apron. This match is yet to make its way into the ring. And of course, Scott, the match cannot officially begin until they've entered the ring. Well, the so bell for Allison K, this is all gravy right now. The bell has sounded though. The referee is counting. This match is officially underway. But you can only win it inside the ring. Oh, wow. Punch, punch it right in the ribs. Courtney Rush, after that blind side of that clothesline early on, is now in a bad way. Oh, wow, what a forearm. Fighting a way out of it. And Courtney Rush wrestles a really smash mouth style. A very hard hitting competitor. Great member of Team Canada. I'm happy she's on the team. Oh, yeah, she, she deserved to be on that team back in 2013. She was selected to be part of that team. And just an unfortunate injury to the collarbone. That's. That's what took her out of the tournament, and ultimately, James Canada ended up losing that tournament. And one could say that had Courtney Rush been on the team, we might have won, Scott. I, I mean, that there is an argument there to be made. Allison Kay, she gonna get in a fight with a fan? Allison Kay is taking her time. Once again, Scott, rumors running rampant about the captain of Team USA this year. I mean, take your pick of who it could be, James. I mean, you you, you said earlier on the podcast, I don't know if they're rumors, because you said on the podcast that you already know who it is, so I think, uh, well, I do, I think you're trying to pull one over on me. But all I'm saying is that the rumors still exist because I haven't said anything. But whoever she is, she has amassed quite the team here for the United States. Well, we're getting a first-hand look at one of her picks right here, Allison Kay. Well, that, that's AK the thing. Seven, they call her, with good reason. That's the thing. We haven't seen Allison Kay here in Smash Wrestling before, so we're kind of getting an idea of why she was selected to Team USA. She's biting the hand, biting away at the fingers of Courtney Rush. Did she just spit a piece of she, Courtney Rush out? She just spat out. Uh, I don't know if it was a part of a finger or an entire finger. I'm gonna go with part of and not the entire. I don't know, it's the cannibalistic attitude here of Allison K. But that's doing what, what it takes me. to win. But that's what scares me about Team USA. And I guess she's gnawing away like a beaver. But that's what scares me about Team USA, Scott, is that they're vicious. They will do whatever it takes, James. Between Cherry Bomb. Not oh, again, gnawing away the thumb. Between Cherry Bomb, Kimberly, Veda Scott, and Allison K. I mean, that's already a vicious team. And with whoever this captain is, and I know who it is, I'm telling you, it's it's a get us in a tough spot. You know, take nothing away from Team Canada. Lefisto has put together quite the team herself. It looks very similar to last year's team, but with that addition now of Courtney Rush. And, and the hardcore princess. Armbar. Oh! Going for the sharpshooter. Is there any move more Canadian? Allison K fighting out of it though. Nice, see Allison K. Again, with that armbar, we're going the injured collarbone. We don't know what the state of that is, James. Is Courtney Rush 100%? She has not had very many matches since returning. Oh, look at that, and a body scissors in the Kimura lock. Allison K showing her technical He can snap a forearm, he can rip a shoulder out of socket. That is not doing the collarbone any favors. Two, hang on, oh! Courtney Rush using her body weight, almost got a pin out of it. And here, the 
fans getting patriotic. Courtney Rush. Fire Courtney Rush out of this Kimura lock. I mean, there's a lot of Canadian history here in the city of Brantford, James. This is the home of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. Why it's called the Telephone City. I did not know that. True story. But let's, not, let's take a look at Team Canada's roster. You have Lefisto, Lefisto the team captain. You have the Mountain Vanessa Craven. Check. You have Courtney Rush. Check. You have the hardcore princess Jules Malone, who I think, if you're looking to match the viciousness of Team USA, Jules Malone is a great addition to Team Canada. Absolutely, and I can't wait to see how these captains and yourself get together and, and set up this, the matchups here for Kenyusa, because it's no matter which way you slice it, it's going to be one hell of a show. And this, this exact match could end up happening at Kenyusa 2014. And let Allison K get trying to bite the fingers of Courtney Rush. Courtney Rush again in a bad way. If her collarbone is at 100%, it might not become Kenyusa 2014, but. Driving the head of Allison K into the mat. Oh, double forearms right to the Women are slugging it out. And, and again. again. Oh, both women having the same idea. Once again, this match proving Scott why women's wrestling in Smash Wrestling deserves the spotlight and why we go out of our way to highlight these female competitors because they're fantastic athletes and amazing performers and truly the best at what they do in the world. They are leaving it all in the ring here. You see Allison Case, she was adjusting that jaw, trying to put it back into place. Courtney Rush adjusting that shoulder. She might have injured that collarbone again, James. Well, I hope not. And she's fighting with one wing, if you will, using a headbutt. That left arm might be out of socket. Oh, hang on here. Oh, beautiful! Double underhook suplex, and Courtney Rush is on a roll. Beautiful suplex there for Courtney Rush. And again, she's going for that sharpshooter. Can she lock it in? No! That's the kick, kicks away at that shoulder. And the sharpshooter is such a difficult maneuver to apply. Oh my god, what a spine buster! You can't wrench and apply that pressure on that sharpshooter when your shoulder is in that much pain. But she's gonna go she's for gonna it try again. It anyway. With one arm, Courtney Rush has a sharpshooter locked in! She can end it right here, James! Can Alyssa K reach the ropes though, Scott? She's gonna claw her way! This could be it! But oh, oh, hang on, she's got the arm. She's ripping away. Oh. See, Scott, she's exactly what I said. Yankee on the arm. You can't lock it in if your shoulder's hurt like On that. up and over, she goes on, oh, and her left arm got caught up in that top rope, James. And that's, there's no padding out there, Scott. That's all concrete. The damage might already be done. The referee's got to use his discretion here, but if, if Courtney Rush can't continue this matchup because of an injury, and we this close to Kenyusa, James, is it wise for these women to be competing this close to a major tournament? Well, I mean, it, it depends on which way you look at it. You want to make a statement, you want to gain the mental advantage by beating the Ross and Kay, but if it's at the risk of injury and you're not competing and putting Canada at a disadvantage, maybe it's not such a good idea. It's hurting more than it's helping. And Courtney Rush refusing to quit, refusing to lose. There's something to be said about living a fight another day, but Courtney Rush, national pride is on the line in this matchup. Wow! That was disrespectful. Spear! Spear! And that shoulder, Scott, has to be in a world of hurt right she now. She might have injured herself but out of instinct hitting that spear, but... She's got the cover! Two! No! So close. My God, what a match, James. Like I said before, the women of Smash Wrestling are the best female competitors anywhere. Courtney Rush showing the heart of a Canadian. The strength of Courtney Rush. Allison K. Oh, shoulder block to the injured shoulder. Oh, hang on here. 
She's got a modified armbar applied. Looking for the Goga Plata by the looks of it, that chokehold. This is, also Kay's gotta make sure her shoulders stay off that mat though. Oh my God, the power! Look at the power of Courtney Rush. Are you serious? Oh, wow, trying to break her way out of the hold. Allison Kay still has it locked in though. Oh, and Courtney and she Rush tapped. tops out. The pain just too much. And I think Scott, I think it's safe to say that the USA has gained twice an advantage here. Number one, they gained the mental advantage over Team Canada as Allison Kay has defeated Courtney Rush. And number two, they've gained a physical advantage because we can only hope that Courtney Rush will not be injured going into Canusa.